My family has always valued education. My grandmother, she worked in the cafeteria at one of the area high schools. After 20 years, she retired and we opened a daycare. And my mother was the kindergarten teacher in the daycare. My mother says to me, you are living your destiny. Because I see education as the great equalizer, it is important that our students have the absolute best in everything. If that's teachers, I want the best teachers. If it is curriculum, I want the best curriculum because students deserve that. Then you give them a plan to get to excellence, it becomes a part of who they are. So my goal is not only the work that we're doing with children, but it's also the work that we're doing with the adults because they are the ones that are going to ultimately take care of the children. The first thing I do is I ask questions. What were students receiving every day? What kind of instruction did they have? Do we need additional individuals in the building? Or do we need appropriate professional development so that teachers are then able to give the resources that we know students need to get them to move to success? So when we start with the basic belief that children can do it, we can roll our sleeves up, start with the data, and we will impact change. I have been an educator my entire life, from teaching my dolls, to teaching my younger sister, to teaching Sunday school at the age of 12. Education has always been a part of my life's work. My grandfather was my pastor and he was my minister. He gave up his time, of himself, and of his talents. I do the same thing. Education is my ministry. It is my passion. It is my service. I believe that all children can be successful. I believe that to my core.